Hello, I'm Tom Harmer, your town manager. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Talk of the Town. Today, joining me is Carolyn Brown, the Support Services Director for the town, and we're going to be talking about the Annual Citizen Survey. Carolyn, welcome. Thank you so much, Tom. So this has become a yearly event. Yes. Um, how many of these surveys have we've done so far? So this will be our fourth annual Citizen Satisfaction Survey. Very good. I think it's beneficial in my experience when you do surveys to do them every once in a while but when you start to do them on a year-by-year -year basis you get that benefit of trends and starting to see how maybe responses have evolved over time. That's right. Um, we'll be able to track the data from when we first began until this year mm -hmm. and, and see how it fluctuates if any. Hopefully we'll maintain those high numbers. Huh. Well and so you know, one of the obvious questions is wh why do you do a citizen survey? So any feedback you could share on why we go through this exercise? It's, it's so mm -hmm. important to be able to give the town commission and the town manager feedback on the direction of what policy issues or budgetary issues that can be brought forward so that sound decisions can be made for the future. And there's a few things we want to talk about, but I think as you, as you mentioned that, it made me think of the end result. So we'll talk about where we're at in the survey process and, and what's important about it, maybe what's changed this year. But as you think about the results coming in, when, when do we expect the results? So a full report will be completed in April. And at that time, the town commission will receive um, uh, an update from University of South Florida who administers the overall survey for us. And so that's important because in April, later in April, the Town Commission has their annual strategic planning retreat where they, they take a lot of public input that's been received and the citizen survey results and then they sit in a strategic planning session with the staff and talk about the priorities for the next year. So it really does become some really important input for the Commission as they're making those strategic decisions. That's right, and, and this will be able to provide that year-to-year -year trend data as well that you were talking yeah. about previously. And so they hear about the results from UCF and, and the gentleman we work with, Dr. Neely, That's will make his presentation early in April and then they'll take all that information, as I mentioned, into the retreat. That's right. Yep. So let's back up a little bit and so here we are in uh, early January and the survey timing, where are we at right now? What should our residents expect? Right, so later this week or early next week, um, the residents should be receiving a letter and within that letter is a code, a special code for each residential address uh, whereby uh, the residents can then log into the website that houses the survey and then they put in their special code and then they take the survey. Um, at the end, when that's all completed within the time frame of uh, between now and February 11th, um, then USF will um, finalize all of the results and put it together and compile it into a report. So a resident should look for a letter in the mail. That's right. There'll be a code, as you mentioned there, that will allow them to go on their computer and access this actual survey. That's correct, that's correct. They can do it on their iPad <clears throat> or on their computer or on their telephone, any electronic device. And the list that they use to mail out comes from the property appraisers? That's right. Uh, each Manatee and Sarasota County property appraisers so, so all the residential property owners are the ones that we actually survey. So those residents that own property on the island will receive this letter. That's right. So what happens if they don't receive the letter? Okay, well, if they don't receive the letter, there's a couple of different options they can choose. Um, they can either um, call USF directly, and we have a phone number for that. It's area code 941-888-0630, and just simply um, ask the uh, staff at USF to please send them the survey code for their particular address and then they will tell them over the phone and then they can go online and take the survey. Um, another option is just to call us here at Town Hall and um, we'll take care of it. And of course, our phone number here is area code 941-316-1999. And so if, if I received the letter at my house, how many people within the household can take the survey? So only one person in each household can take the survey. 
and when they fill the survey out, when we get the results, will we know what uh, residents provided us that kind of input? No, the survey is totally anonymous. Um, USF will provide it into a report back to us, but we never know who who decided or who voted or who uh, selected what option for each question or anything along those lines. Yeah, and so that's good. Hopefully that makes the residents feel more comfortable about being as candid as possible. That's right. And it's another reason why we use USF and the Institute of Government to handle the survey for us. That's right. It's a third party not directly coming right. back to us. So there's general questions that are asked every year. We talked about trends, but then there's also other questions that are added each year. That's right. So about 80% of the survey is consistent from year to year, and that will be able to um, lend us that trend data that we talked about. But then about 20% of the questions will be specific to what is important to the town or to the town commission at that particular point in time. So there'll be certain questions that will vary from year to year. And, and we've talked about this before, the, the big questions about traffic or about the town center or about a library or about the, you know other things, speed right. limit on Gulf of Mexico Drive, we've asked those type of questions and they change each year based on what's important and what's coming up before the commission, maybe for a policy decision. That's right, that's right. So this year we'll be focusing a little bit on hurricane, um, you know, hurricane arrangements yes. and what do the, uh, the residents have in place for themselves. Which is good timing after Hurricane Ian came through the area here. Yeah. Unfortunately, we were not super impacted by it, but it's a good reminder of how important it is to be prepared. That's right. So the uh, you mentioned the high numbers earlier. You made a comment about the high numbers in the survey. We've been very fortunate in some of the feedback over the past couple of years where, you know, high 90s, um, response on quality of life right you know on the island and so that's really good to see but this is the annual kind of check to see so we can then um, rate uh, the level of uh, service and input from the residents and how they feel about the island and the conditions of the island the services on the island etc right so over the last several years uh, we've had a 99 percent rating um, for quality of life and um, and what people are happy with with our levels of service and and overall um, expectations of the town so we're we're really proud of that um, hopefully people will continue to think so well and you also mentioned there's an opportunity to fill in feedback directly so those additional comments are received and, and that allows us to kind of read through and understand maybe very specific things that we might want to look at to, to continuously improve. That's right. So there, there are a couple of <clears throat> questions within the survey that it's not just click the box or check yes or no, um, where people are allowed to type in their response. And so those are always good um, to provide feedback directly to the town commission um, about what people actually think. Good. Well, very good. So. What else do you think our residents need to know before they receive this in the mail? Um, there's not much to know before they receive it in the mail. The most important thing is to please participate, to please uh, lend your feedback back to the town commission and, and the town manager so that we can appropriately prepare for the future and, and take care of business the way the people who live here uh, want to be taken care of. So. And I think talking it up a little bit so that if you're out and you're talking to your neighbors or friends who live on the island also it's a good thing to say hey have you received your survey and you know we want as many people as possible right. to respond that's right it's it's really important that we get a good uh, database of, of those who participate and so um, just talk it up and and let everybody know that it's time to take the survey and and to please participate well, thank you for coordinating this. It's a major project for the town. It's extremely helpful. It's an important part of our strategic planning. And I'm excited to see the results of uh, the fourth annual, yep. um, because regardless of what they are, it's, it's just helpful input that we should look at and consider as we look out each year. That's right. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, so thank you. And, and thank you for joining me for today's discussion. Please look out for your survey. Please take the time to fill it out and let us know how you feel about each of those areas in the survey. Thank you again for joining me for this edition of Talk to the Town.